Okay guys, so now we're going to take a look at the periodic table again, same as last week. And we're going to take a look at how each group or family, we're going to see, review how do they form an ion. And now we're going to add what is their charge and what kind of ion are they? Are they a cation or an anion? So let's take a look at group one. And we said everything in each group has the same number of valence electrons. They all act the same way. Now hydrogen is a little special, so don't, we're not going to get into that now. So just... Hydrogen is actually going to gain one, but don't ask, don't worry about it. Focus on these guys. So already in group one, right, what's the quickest way to get a full outer shell? Gain seven or lose one, they're going to want to lose one. So if they lose one, okay, hope you guys can see this. Let me zoom in. I'm sitting on a stool in the bottom here. If they lose one, right, they lose one valence electron. So then they're going to have one more proton. Remember, you don't mess with the protons. Their charge is positive one. So lithium, sodium, potassium all have a positive one charge. And what are they? They are called cations. Remember we said I'm um, positive. I'm sorry. Cations are positive. Pause. They are positive one. All they got to do is lose one to get a full outer shell. And I'll tell you this, a little preview for next week. They're crazy. They're like some of the most reactive things ever because they're this close, so close to getting that full outer shell. They're nuts. Okay? So let's take a look at group two. So now you guys tell me. I'm sorry. I'm doing my best looking up at a camera. Got to make do with what we got here. Okay. So we got group two. They have two valence electrons. Right? What's quicker? And you know, this level holds eight, this level holds eight, this level holds eight. Are they going to want to gain six or lose two? they're going to want to lose two valence electrons. Let me move that up so you can see it. And what's, that, what's their charge going to be? Well, you can't mess with the protons. So if you're taking away two negative things, what are you left with? Two more positive things. So their charge is going to be plus two. Okay? And they're all going to be called what? They're positive ions. Um, cations are positive cations. Okay? Alright, so that's that so far. So everybody in group one, except don't worry about hydrogen, wants to lose one to get a full outer shell. They're positive one charge. Group two wants to lose two instead of gain six. They have a positive two charge. Now here's the thing. Who's closer to getting that full outer shell? Remember that song, All I Want in Science is a full outer shell. A full outer shell. Yeah, a full outer shell. Gee, if I can only have a full outer shell, then I could be a stable substance. So let me ask you this. Who's closer to getting a full outer shell? Losing one or lose two? Lose one. So they're, they're flat out nuts. These guys are pretty crazy, but they're freaking nuts, man. They are nuts because they're as close to getting that, like, $100 million we talked about, that full outer shell. So they're nuts. Okay. So let's look at group 13. So I'm going to move this over. Okay, so group 13. They each have three... Make sure I'm pointing. Okay. Three valence electrons. So group 13. Three valence electrons. What do they want to do to get a full outer shell? Gain five or lose three? They're going to lose three valence electrons. Okay? Because again, this level holds up to eight. This level holds up to eight. Don't worry about why we don't continue down here. These things are called transition metals. They're a little goofy. So they're going to lose three valence electrons. So if they're going to get rid of three negative things, what are you going to end up with? Three more positive things because you didn't mess with the protons. So the charge is positive three. So they're positively charged ions. Cations are positive. Okay? Cations are positive. So groups 1, 2, and 13 all have a positive charge because they all want to lose valence electrons. They're all cations. So who's the closest to getting that $100 billion full outer shell? One, two, or three? One. So therefore, they're the most crazy. Who's the second most crazy reactive? Who, who's the most desperate? These guys right here. They're, the sec they're, they're, they're pretty close, but not as close as these guys. Imagine you were so close, like you had like a, and if I told you in two minutes you're going to win $100 million, you'd be nuts. That's like these guys. What if I told you you had a chance to win $100 million? That's like these guys. You're kind of crazy. What if I said, there's a shot, maybe. You could win $100 million. You'd be excited. So these guys are the most crazy. They're nuts. These guys are pretty crazy. These guys are kind of crazy. 
Okay, but we'll get into that later. But I'm just kind of getting the idea in your head. Because all I want in science is a what? Flat or shell. Now group 14 is a little bit different. So they have four balance electrons, as we set up here. Now I will tell you this, we're not going to, these don't really form ions, and you're going to want to know why. What's easier, lose four or gain four? Well, I'll tell you this, they're going to gain four, but they share and they don't give electrons. So we're going to leave this as four valence electrons and leave that go. And if there's something called covalent bonding, they don't form ions, it's... It's a little bit, you know, beyond us right now. So we're just going to go four balance electrons, okay? So now let's well, over here. So group 15. I think you guys can see it. 15 has five balance electrons, okay? So if they have five, what do you think is easier to get to eight? Gain three or lose five? Obviously, you're going to want to gain three. Okay, so here's my thing, you're going to gain three balance electrons. So you're going to get three more negative thingies. So what do you think the charge is going to be? Minus three. Oh, wait a minute, look at the difference over here. These guys wanted to lose three. So they're going to be left with uh, more protons in the end. These guys are going to gain three, they're going to be left with more electrons. So these guys are called, well, we said it already, anions. A-N-I-O-N-S. A negative ion. Okay? So, can I ask you something? You should think about this. If these guys lose balance electrons, where do they go? They have to go somewhere. And these guys gain them. Who are they going to get them from? Think about that. I'm not going to tell you yet. Okay, we're going to go on to group 16. Group 16 all have six balance electrons. Again, we are family. I got all my balance with me. So what do you think these guys want to do to get a full outer shell? Lose six or gain two? They're going to gain two valence electrons. And if they're going to gain two negative things, that means I'm going to have two more negative things. So you're going to have a negative two charge. And again, they're negative ions. A negative ion. Okay? So these have a negative two charge because they're, that's the quickest way to a full outer shell. So where do you think they get their valence electrons from? Do they just come from magic? No. Where do you think they get them from? Think about it. Okay. Group 17 has seven valence electrons. And again, you know, this level holds eight, this level holds eight. So therefore, these guys are going to want to gain one valence electron. And their charge is negative one, because they're going to have one more electron. And they're also anions. Okay? So let's ask you this. Who's the most crazy on this side? We already said over here, over this side, we said these guys are the most crazy, because all they got to do is gain one, and they're right there for that $100 million full outer shell. These guys have a shot at a $100 million full outer shell. These guys have a shot. What about over here now? Who's the most crazy? Think about it. 15, 16, don't worry about 18. 15, 16, or 17? The answer is 17. Why? Because they're just one away from a full outer shell. So on this side, right, don't worry about 14. So with the anions, group 17, since they're just one away, are the craziest. Group 16 are the second most crazy just on this side because they're two away. And these guys are three away. They're pretty crazy, but not as crazy as these guys. Pattern is the same over here. If you're one away, you're nuts. Two away, you're pretty crazy. Three away, somewhat crazy. Same idea. See how easy that is? Okay. So over here, what's up with these guys? These guys don't form ions. You know why? They already have a full outer shell. They don't react much. They don't, they're not crazy at all. They are straight up chill. And I'm going to give you another word for them. They are chill slash inert. I-N-E-R-T. What that means is they already have a full outer shell. They're straight up chill. They don't do anything. They're just, they're, they're, they have a full outer shell. Even helium has a full outer shell with two. So let me zoom out so you can take a look at the overall view of it real quick. Whoops. Let me see. So once again... 
you've got group one over here wants to lose one instead of gain seven positive one nuts one away group two what do they want to do gain six or lose excuse me gain six or lose two they're going to lose two positive two two away from being full out of shell group 13 has three what are they going to do gain five or lose three they're going to lose three so because of that, since they're going to lose negative things, there's going to be more positives. They're all cations. Cations are positive. Okay? Group 14 has 4. Just stick with that for now. And then on the other side, group 15 has 5. What are they going to do? Lose 5 or gain 3? Gain 3. So they're going to get 3 more negative things. A, negative ion, anion. Group 16, are they going to gain 2 or lose 6? They're going to gain 2. Negative 2. A negative ion. Why? More electrons and protons. Group 17. Gain 1. Negative 1 charge. One more electron. Negative thing than proton. A negative ion. And what's up with these guys? Group 18 with helium with 2. They're chilling Earth because they already have a full outer shell. Okay? So I hope that helps. Make sure you have that copied. If you have any questions, please email your teacher. Okay, guys. Great job. Keep working. This is going to help you in high school.